Yes, we're going to have ourselves a good old fashioned line up. Yes, so what now I'm going to do is my officer going to come past. I want you all to stay still, calm, and quiet. And if my officers see anyone suspicious, we will pull you out for interrogation. Yes, and I need you all to wait still because this one gets a little bit like. You found one? All right. You, man, you come with me, glasses off, you've been chosen. This is an interrogation, you get to get shoes. All right, come on, up you get. Now I'm going to start with the tricky questions first. What's your name? Diane. <laughs> a likely story. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yeah. All right, Diane, where are you from? Brisbane. Well, you wouldn't worry about that, would you, buddy? <laughs> All right, Diane from Brisbane. What do you know about big up below the over fishing the harbour? Ah! Stop right there. I've had enough of your lies and deception. We're very busy here at Fish Detectives, and we have not got time for any, any mucking about. I mean, we need to get things precise. Now, you want to run the interrogation, buddy? You think I'm doing a terrible job? All right. Now, Diane, Buddy's going to finish off the interrogation, so what I want you to do is gently go over here, put your arm around his neck, and lean your ear in nice and close. He's going to hit you with hard questions. <laughs> Buddy! I said questions, not kisses. Can't you take the law seriously just this once? Oh, put your tongue away. All right, Diane, you can go sit back down, you're clearly innocent. But be warned, that's a kiss that's going to linger for hours. <laughs> All right, plan A and B didn't work, so now it's time for plan C. Yes, we are going to go undercover. We're going to go so far undercover that we... Wait a minute. What are you doing, officers? Get up! What, that sort of undercover? To infiltrate the master plan. All right. Buddy, come with me. Over here. I have a mission for you if you choose to accept. I need you to see Count Murphy's rounder. Do you accept? All right, good man. Now off you go. Today, back to the boat. We'll meet the other fish detectives back on the wharf. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for us to do some good. So it was that the fish detectives began to close in on Big Al Maloney and Murphy Flounder. But Maloney was not going to be booked that easily. <laughs> That's Jim and Sam Swinger and I fish detectives. I think this I good. I got nothing on the Big Al Maloney. Nothing, I tell you. <laughs> Uh-oh, I hear flippers. Oh, police flippers. All right, here's the deal. All you no good nose picking bibby dobby kids, if anyone asks you, you never ever saw me. You got it? Yeah, that's what I saw it, because you're all stupid. <laughs> Meanwhile, back on the docks, officers Whitebait and Corn were looking for clues. They were cool, collected, and knew how not to be noticed. Hey, Claude, where the heck are you now? Claude? Hey, there, Claude. Well, there you are. Claude, hit the brakes! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's the idiot, my friend. All right, now, let's get to work, shall we? Oh, now, before we begin, very important. Boys and girls, listen up. If you see anything sneaky, make lots and lots of noise and let us know. <laughs> Alright, Lord, I need you to follow my every move. Oh, back it up, Kim. We must have missed 
nothing. Ah, officers, what have you found for me so far? Sorry, boss, we haven't found anything yet, we could. Barnacles, how about checking the fish numbers in the harbor? Oh, this sounds like a job for you. Why don't you take a peek? Get out 
there on fundamental learning. Yes, as for you, Murphy Flander, it won't be long till we have all the good heart of it that I need to pin you down. It appears to be a big green bag of money. Oh, with a note from Big Al Baloney, Murphy Flounder. Keep the money and don't be a teller. Oh, well, folks, it looks like we've got this big fish bagged and tagged. <laughs>
city, there is a story to be told, and this has been one of them. Now that the fish was safe, there was no need to cross the harbor to get to the other town. All thanks to Buddy and Paul and the Fish Detectives.